going to make a start by filling this small hole with some epoxy putty. Firstly though, I'm going to take off the last bit of sellotape that's held the vase together during the gluing process. The putty which I'm using will harden fairly quickly and this will provide support for the secondary fill which I'm going to uh, mix and apply to the larger chips and areas of small cracks that run over the whole vase and this will provide the final decorative uh, fill o over the um, over the vase. I'm just going to trowel this off with a spatula. Just get it below, slightly below the level, so that there's room for the secondary filler to go on top. I'm just checking this from the back because once we've glued the top piece in as well, I shan't be able to see this at all. I've left the pot now for a couple of days and the filler which I applied has now dried. It's been cut back very slightly and to, to level it out. And I'm now ready to apply the secondary filler. And this is a mixture of the glue, which I initially used to stick the vase together. But to it, I have added a binding medium in order to make it a little thicker, uh, more gelatinous. And I've also added a small amount of pigment, uh, in this case, a little bit of white, tiny, tiny little bit of black and some, some yellow in order to match this background color here which is, is the main, is in essence, the main background colour of the vase. Now I'm going to just put this in. And this material is a little more translucent than the, the substrate filler. Um, and it's really designed to imitate the glaze which is on the, on the surface. I'm just going to finally trowel this off as smooth as possible and uh, once, it's, once it's dried I'll then be able to cut it back again and burnish it up and which will give a lovely glossy finish. The holes in the side of the vase have now been filled and I've also taken the opportunity to do all the necessary cleaning up from inside. I'm now ready to put the last piece back in place. And I've already applied the glue to the surface. And I'm just going to very carefully lower this in place. And it won't need any tape because its own weight will hold it there. And there we are, the whole vase glued back together.